Hi folks, um, um, welcome to Port the City. First of all, I would like to thank Ian and Bruce for organizing this. Thank you so much. And um, Steve and the others for coming and joining me. Um, so the problem that we were given um, for this hackathon was uh, related to community problems that we are facing these days. And one of the problems that we face as students or as someone who are coming late at night or at non-peak hours um, we are finding difficulty finding cabs around here. So maybe you're stuck at Aberdeen Airport or you're stuck somewhere um, at a taxi stand and there are no taxi providers. Um, I do know that there are um, taxi providers that you can call, um, but then during non peak hours you see that um, there is no agent to pick up your call and you don't respond and don't get a taxi on time. Um, so this is an issue for um, young students to travel, even um, other people who need to communicate around this area. Uh, so we have proposed a solution, sorry we don't have a slide right now, but I have a product to show you. Um, the possible solution that we have given for this is that to use a computer vision based model uh, to identify the number of people waiting at a particular taxi stand and um, take all the information, gather all the information and show it in a map for taxi providers or taxi services uh, to use that as a reference and they can go around the places to pick up uh, the passengers. Uh, so I just uh, like to give a short demo of a video first and then the entire implementation. Uh, so the entire logic of our code is working. So uh, we have just recorded a video. So just pause for a minute. So the input that we are giving as an admin, uh, if you can just go uh, to the main web page that we have developed. Yeah. So this is the admin web page that we have created. Uh, the admin, the taxi providers can add in their camera location via the latitude and longitude. And the polygon coordinates is basically the bounding box within which uh, the queue will probably be. So we are expecting the particular camera to be uh, at a static position and based on that we will be initially drawing the polygon coordinates for that particular camera and it is configurable from this web page. Um, as of now you can choose a video but there is also an option uh, to link it to a particular live feed camera. We will show that later on. And yeah, so once you click on submit then it takes you and gives you the output. So I'll just show you the already created output that we have got. Uh, first, you can just go uh, to the output video. So this is the output video. You can see um, that the red bounding box over here, that's presumably the queue that we are expecting or where the passengers are supposed to stand. Um, for reference, we can put a uh, note saying that this is a taxi stand queue which is powered by AI and you have to just stand within this area in order to get detected and get a cab. So yeah, um, so we can see that two passengers are waiting and the wait time is getting identified by our vision learning model and another passenger who is not interested to stand in the queue, that's probably me, um, is just going around and we have, um, yeah, so basically you can see the ID is getting annotated per person within the boundary box and the time. And as soon as I enter, my time starts over here. So the configuration that we're giving to the taxi providers is based on the time that they want the camera to operate. Um, this is configured as well. So we have for this demo uh, taken a time of maybe like 40 seconds, 30 to 40 seconds as of now. And, uh, yeah, it's around 25 seconds. Yeah, it was 25 seconds to identify three people. So the output that we're getting Yeah. So we are taking it as 25 seconds as our cutoff and we are getting three objects which are being identified as person and the respective time. Um, that will be taken as input and it will go into our heat map um, of that particular location and also we can keep on adding cameras onto it and new pop-ups will come based on your camera location and the JSON structure coming in from our model. So if you can just click on the red dot Right there, so cab providers can just click on that. Oh, we see that there are three people waiting right over there. Um, 
So yeah, this is uh, one feature that we have introduced, and the other part which uh, was very challenging for us was to integrate this with a uh, live stream from camera because uh, we don't want to put load on um, in terms of uh, the already uh, existing infrastructure, we want to use that and we want to uh, integrate our code into it. So what we have done is, um, can you just go into the YouTube channel link? Yeah. So yeah, this is from Dublin Island. There are, yeah, hi. So, uh, <laughs> never mind. Yeah, so they don't see us, but yeah, so they are probably being monitored by us. So what uh, the example that we have set up here is that this is a live link that we have used. And um, we are planning, like for example, the taxi provider can draw a bounding box over here somewhere. That's what we plan to do now. And we are getting the output. I'll just show you the output. So yeah. The, the problem that which I was talking about is that the lag from the system, it's still processing in batches. So if you can just restart the system, then So we just quickly restart it. Takes a minute. Yeah, there you go. So this is the live feed. Um, so we are detecting people around here, and you can see that the people who are outside this bonding boxes have time appended as zero, so they are not being detected and added onto the CSV. Um, so any person, if this person comes in, it, uh, the time gets calculated as soon as he is going out, it becomes zero. So the threshold over here is exactly what we, what the taxi providers want. Um, yeah, this part needs to be fixed where it's working with the live stream because that is probably because we don't have a GPU on our laptops. So the model that we have used over here is a YOLO uh, 8, um, uh, V8N version. Um, it doesn't take much space, but it requires a dedicated GPU for better output. Once we have that, once we have a good infra, uh, we are pretty sure this will work better. But that's the idea so far. So the taxi providers can draw the output over there, uh, the required path where they want, and the people within that particular box will be detected. The output for this, um, you will get so we have also like made one more heat map. So if you just click on that. Yeah, so around 39 people are detected. So we had kept like one minute of wait time within the box. Sorry. Oh sorry, we had kept 10 seconds of wait time just to like show. So within 10 seconds there are these number of people who are currently there waiting for a taxi. And just a small demo how this will look in the future once we integrate this with other models, uh, with uh, other instances and cameras. It looks something like this. And this is just a dummy JSON if you're pulling over here. Yeah, so that's how in the end it will look like. It will pop up at different places where the people are standing, and as well as if you can just click on one of those dots. Yeah, so that's a very nine people are waiting, ten people are waiting. So that's that's the whole idea. So the, these to be try to address the local issue in Aberdeen of um, shortage of cabs, um, and we give the power to the passenger because there there is a monopoly around big companies like Uber um, who try to also take in money from you. So what we are doing is we are building this as an open source platform for the RD city council and they can help develop this with us and implement it for the people. Thank you. <laughs> Any questions? When you identify the problems, oh, I'm sorry, the problems. So when you're working on this and identifying the problem, what did you find is the main reason why the cats weren't around? Or were you only trying to solve this, this one major problem? So the main uh, the main reason for cabs not being around is, for example, if there's a flight landing at a particular time in the airport, mm -hmm. um, and there's no way that a person who is new to the city uh, does 
know the uh, cab providers doesn't have the information or doesn't have a charge on its phone in order to book any people. So the main issue is that the cabs don't know where the people are currently. So this will just give them an idea of where the clustering is happening. And this is just an issue of taxis. If you try to implement this on a very large scale, it can be done on bus stops, it can be done on any place where there is a group of people uh, gathering. It can also be done for security reasons. For example, if you have a shop and uh, you expect that between 10 p.m. at night to 6 a.m. at night, no one should be around that area of the shop or within that shop. So it can be either a security feature where you can detect if a person is standing within your shop or around your shop for a very long period of time. So as a security feature does it. Can your cabs maybe push a button and say, I'm on the way to that destination so two or three cabs don't show up to pick up that same one person? That is something which we have thought of. That's a very good idea. So what we are thinking on in that perspective is that um, we are also, we have actually implemented that. I forgot to just show you that. So we are sending out an email to the cab providers with a list of places. And for example, if a cab provider is interested in going into that place, you just have to click on that and on our dedicated link. And then it will show over here that a cab is coming to this particular location. That's a feature scope which we can add to it. And then and you can also turn it to an application instead of email. So they exactly, can exactly. You can turn that to the application. And um, for a user point of view, for a passenger point of view, we can place like a QR scanner at the taxi stand for the person to just check if there is a taxi approaching them or not. If someone has accepted and approaching them, so it does not require you know, a dedicated app to be installed on your phone. Just by QR, you know there's a link. This guy found me.